penultimate box I looked in. And um, if you don't know what a rattle sounds like, that's what a rattle sounds like. Right, this is Josh Christronic. He was just about to go and get his missus a coffee, but <laughs> she can wait. Yeah, we got two minutes. Do you like it hot and steamy? Ah, uh, no milk. Oh, right. I like mine strong and black. And strong and black. <laughs> I want the coffee. Um, who have we got here? Is this Ben? We'll have a little word. Oh, here's Ben. Look, we'll talk to Ben. <coughs> like my rattle? Yeah. I bet you've rattled a few. Rattle the rebels. We're going to rattle the rebels. I'm going to rattle a few off. Yeah, I bet you've rattled a few off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want. All the boys are fired up. You had your track walk, so the, the sense and the, the, the feeling in the camp is very positive. Yeah, it's positive, but very cold. Very cold. It is cold. So, <laughs> right, I'm going to go and rattle a couple more off before we start. Thank you, Ben. So you've heard from the riders, we've heard from Ben Barker, we've heard from Josh Grishonic. This really is going to be one hell of a meeting. You need to hold on to your seats because you're in for a ride. Now, if you've ever wondered when you've been watching your reprime production what the face of the voice behind the commentary is like, this is him, Steve Girdwood, who's the managing director and executive of Rerun Productions. You know it's a big meeting when he's coming to town. Um, and we know Lakeside are not here. <laughs> so, um, are you all ginned up, Steve? You got all your facts? Got all your figures? Everything I need to know, Kevin, is there. OK, how many did Paul start scoring the first leg? Three. Uh, what's his name? Tungate? Eight. So, poorly prepared, um, <laughs> as usual. So expect the usual amount of gaffes and goofs from him. We have got James Shane's off gate number one. He's been lively, but uh, well, so far he's only scored one point from his two rides. Connor Coles comes out off of gate number two. Unless there's been a change. We don't think there has been. I think it is Connor, maybe Joe Jacobs, but uh, we were chin-wagging up here, so if there's any changes, we do apologise. I'm not going to be up there. I'm going to be down here working the stadium crowd. Oh, they're all in tonight, look. Another one is Knocker. Look, he's going to be in charge of or doing some sales, perhaps. Um, so enjoy the action. <laughs> We've got uh, Mr Long just to the right of us. How's it going so far, Kevin? Hello there. Yeah, well, it's uh, going all well, but for the uh, Witches, of course, they're uh, only two up on the night, so uh, still trailing by uh, a considerable margin on, uh, on uh, aggregate. So um, not all over yet, of course, but the, uh, the fat lady, let's say, she might be clearing her throat. Couldn't have put it any better myself, young Kevin. <laughs> So here we go then. The best uh, Ipswich can. Oh my goodness! We got. We got uh, the rattlers out. The old rattler. Oh, fantastic! Oh, that's got. That reminds me of what it's like in the old days, folks, doesn't it? Heat number eight. Come on, then, you witches! I tell you what, I tell you what, Steve. It did really, you, you have to build up the strength in your wrists for oh, these rattles. I've, I, was, I actually forgot how difficult it is to rattle one out. I was, I was just about to say, you look as if you have got quite a lot of strength in that wrist, Kevin. Any but, particular exercises you've been doing? Not particularly, but if I try, if I use the other, if I use the other hand to to use the rattle, it feels like someone else is doing yeah, the rattling. Yeah, I've been there. Okay, right. <laughs> we go back to the racing, Nicholas.